So everything is just falling apart for Donald Trump. Not only did his niece write a horrifying book about him, uh, not only did his sister get caught on leaked audio slamming him, but now there are reports that Donald Trump's own wife, Melania Trump, the first lady, has been caught on tape making disparaging comments about both Donald Trump himself and his children. The recording has been reportedly made by Stephanie Winston Wolkoff, who's a former advisor to Melania, and she's going to be putting out a book in September called Melania and Me, The Rise and Fall of My Friendship with the First Lady. Now, this is essentially gossip in a sense, but it's gossip that goes to the same story. Trump doesn't have normal relationships. He's not a normal person. Many of the people around him are around him, not just because they enjoy it, but for who knows what kinds of other reasons. And much like he ruins personal relationships, he ruins our relationship as a country with our allies. He's just ruining everything that he touches. Now, the book will eventually have the details. It'll be released in September. Presumably, audio will also be released. But reportedly, Melania Trump in these recordings attacks Ivanka Trump. I guess Melania really doesn't like Ivanka um, and attacks Donald Trump himself and attacks Trump's other adult children. So this is really just a reality show. And and again, as I said just a few minutes ago in the last story, I look forward to and would welcome gladly a boring Biden presidency and things just being boring for a while while Donald Trump is gone. Now, this is the same advisor to Melania, by the way, writing this book that told Melania. Remember when they, they came up with that be best thing and it sounded just like a grammatical mistake. Uh, this same advisor to Melania, who reportedly recorded Melania disparaging Trump and his children, told Melania that her be best slogan sounded illiterate, which it does. I mean, it sounds illiterate. And it also sounds potentially plagiarized, which I'm actually less sure about. If nothing else, removing this and putting the Biden family in the White House, it would just be a breath of fresh air to just make this garbage stop. Boring presidency, I welcome. And I can tell you, boring won't be particularly good for my business, but who cares? It'll be good for the country. A scandal a day, you know, white knuckling it with some new scandal every single week. It really is exhausting. Now, to be clear, Biden being boring doesn't mean we stop paying attention if Biden wins. It doesn't mean we stop lobbying for progressive change. It just means the process gets back to one of being mildly connected to how modern Western democracies are supposed to operate. Now, of course, if Biden is president, Fox News will find scandals. They will fabricate scandals. They will concoct scandals if they need to, but they will be similar to Obama wore a tan suit. Obama's choice of mustard was arrogant or whatever. The other side to this is that there will be so much damage to clean up and most likely a Biden presidency will be dealing with at least six months of Trump continuing to be triggered constantly by Biden starting to undo the damage Trump has done. Joe Biden will still be dealing with a pandemic. Nothing is fixed if Biden becomes president. It gives us the ball back to use that analogy again and we can start to fix things. We'll still have the pandemic. The economic recovery from Trump's mishandling of the pandemic is likely to take all of Joe Biden's first term if he were to get one. But just for context, and I know that this is crazy to think back to, there were periods of time during Barack Obama's presidency where we didn't cover Obama even for an entire week, never mind every day. Like there were times when the president just did their job and we talked about other things, what was going on in the Senate, geopolitics and much else, because there wasn't constantly some fire to be putting out. They seem like simpler times in some ways. Now, back to the recordings of Melania slamming Trump briefly. It really would be great if they were released this week during the RNC. Just a thought. Trump would fly off the rails and I would love to see it. Let me know if anybody else is thinking along the same lines. Privacy.com is one of our sponsors and they're giving you five dollars just for using their free service at privacy.com slash Pacman. Privacy is a service I've been using for a while now. I love it. It saves me a bunch of headaches. It's completely free and it's very quick to set up. And here's how it works. When you pay for something online or over the phone, Instead of exposing your real credit card number, privacy lets you generate virtual card numbers. The payments are withdrawn from your checking account, but your real card number stays completely private 
and you do it all with one click. You can autofill the card number in your web browser on the phone. You can create 12 virtual cards a month. You can set spending limits, freeze them, delete them whenever you want. I especially love it for free trials where you need to give a credit card number because I can destroy the virtual card number as soon as I give it to the company and I know I won't be charged in the future. If you're ordering food over the phone, why do I need to give a restaurant my real card number if I don't have to? Companies don't have to know who you are. Your real credit card number is protected from the data breaches that happen, unfortunately, more often than we would like. And it's completely free. They do have a paid version with different tiers where you can create more virtual credit card numbers per month, cashback rewards, extra security features. But go ahead and sign up for the free service. It's a no brainer. Companies can't charge you unexpectedly. You're protected from identity theft. It costs you nothing. And Privacy is giving you $5 to spend just for signing up when you go to privacy.com slash Pacman.